Google Plus tutorial, I'm going to show you about collections and communities. So basically, collections are a way for you to organize the content that you have on your newsfeed and the content that you see. So if you think like um, Pinterest, collections would almost be like your boards. Um, if you think Twitter, it's kind of like the hashtags where you can um, organize things under specific topics. So collections are much like topics or different ideas. So first of all you can go under featured and just look for topics that might be interesting to you and choose any of those to follow. Once you follow a collection all the things that are posted into that collection show up on your newsfeed. So if you wanted to um, find out about technology you could click on the collection and you can see what's been posted in it recently to see if it's something that you are truly interested in before um, you follow it. There are many ways to follow it anywhere where it says the follow button, so it's on this screen. Um, in the previous screen, you can just click follow here. Once you've followed a collection, under following is where um, they'll be listed. So actually, let me follow technology. And then now whenever I go under following, there's technology. The other cool thing is that you can actually create your own collection. So if you go under yours, um, you can create a collection. So I'm going to start one here and I'm going to call this technology resources. And now at this point you can choose who is able to see the things that you put into this collection. Once you do this, it cannot be changed. So you want to make sure that you think this through as you're creating your collection. So you can have it open to all WCPS people, the public in general, your circles, which we'll talk about a little bit later, only to you, or you can customize and select specific friends for it to, to be able to follow. I'm going to leave it as WCPS. Um, you can add a tagline, so this would just be kind of a, um, an a description of the collection. So um, educational technology resources and ideas. So this helps you stay organized with what you're putting in the collection. Then you just click create. Now at this point you can get fancy. Uh, you can change the photo that goes with the technology resource collection or whichever collection you've created. You can change the color um, and then uh, let's see, oh here you click save and that's going to save the changes that you've made to this collection. Now if you want to post into this collection specifically you again click the pencil in the corner type your post and um, put it there. So if you had a link or something that you wanted to store, you would click here, add the link, and then post it. Now again, to get back to your home page, you can always click this three line thing. You can click the Google Plus. There are lots of different ways. I'm going to go here back to home. So you can see here too, I follow the education um, collection and this has been posted there. So that's something that just kind of goes with it. Uh, the communities are very similar to the uh, collections in a way. Communities are groups of people that share similar interests. So um, again, under recommended, it's going to give you a bunch of different possible um, communities that you could follow. So you basically join the community. And again, by joining that community, you are now um, able to view anything that's posted into that community on your main um, news feed. And once you've joined one, you can click the pencil in the corner to post into it as well. Uh, back at communities, you can see the ones that you are a member of. And then again, you can create your own. So you could create a community, even Fountaindale Teachers. So um, maybe I wanted to create one that we would, as Fountaindale teachers, would use, um, you know, to all kind of gather together virtually to share resources and things like that. Um, so again, you can restrict it to WCPS or you can open it up to anybody. Uh, you can, let's see, make it visible to anyone or only certain people. So if you wanted to do something where, you, you know, you only wanted it to be your staff, then you would make it private and invite those specific people. You can click to have people have to ask to join your community. Um, so as you saw, I just joined a, a community right away. I didn't have to, you know, request access or anything. You could leave it like that or you could ask people to join. 
Okay, so that's a little bit about collections and communities on Google+. Um, up next, I'm going to talk to you about how to create your circles and what circles mean.